We got it. We finally got it. Good job, Rivers. Stay there. We're on our way. There was no doubt anymore. 
Skynet had created a cybernetic organism. It was Dina. Wolves in sheep's clothes. Seen any other infiltrators yet? Or at least, we didn't think we had. And that fear of not knowing was what turned the tide of this war. That night, Skynet won. Ow. We don't even know if he's alive. He is. He's in the Hollywood Hills. We knew a time would come when we'd need him again, so we've kept an eye on him. Wait. Cloud your judgment before, Commander. That's why I decided that Max's whereabouts were no longer this is your bullshit. Concern. He can't just magically fix all of our problems. He's a man, not a god. A man that makes that's mistakes. Enough, Commander. You know what happened last time. He's the reason Perry's dead. I said that's enough. Sergeant Rivers? Yes, sir. Techcom believes that being marked for termination is a badge of honor. A sign that we're doing something right. Mr. Rivers is all I need to trust you with handling this mission. Commander Barron will fill you in on the details. Good luck, soldier. Over and out. Looks like you're going to Hollywood Hills. Dr. Edwin Mack is the one who taught us how to use Skynet's weapons, so there's a chance he can do it again. Take him that second generation plasma rifle and see if he's able to reprogram it. If we want to use Skynet's weapons, we need to bypass their encryption lockouts. How will I find him? He's obsessed with surveillance. So when you get there, look for any cameras, biometric sensors, or any other tech stuff. He should be around. That's it. What do you need? Uh, anything I should know about Dr. Mack before I leave? Only that he can't be trusted and he's highly manipulative. So you need to stay cautious. Smashed? Yes. Yes, it was. Like in Perry, I was wandering alone, myself. The first people I came across were two guys. Old enough to remember Judgment Day. We camped out together. They gave me advice, we shared some stories. Sounds nice, right? <clears throat> A little too good to be true. It was. I was too naive to notice it back then. When I woke up, there I was, lost in the desert. I knew I was gonna die. I passed out with my face in the sand. But next thing, I was lying in a bed. You're lucky someone found you. Through the window, I saw thousands of Terminators. First, I thought it was a work camp, but it was something else a Skynet research facility. They kept me alive, but I didn't know why. I thought I was the only human there. But after a while, someone came into my cell. A man. Well-dressed, clean-shaven. In a way, he was a traitor to his race. Bastard was selling every piece of knowledge the machines didn't have. In return, they gave him everything he wanted. When he was done stuffing his face with food, he had another request. He wanted a whore. It lasted months, until... You don't want to see people for what they really are. I've seen their true face. That traitor, those two guys in the desert, Mac. They're pretty. The truth is, the only reason I fight for the Resistance is because I despise people just a little less than the machines. called Dr. Death. That won't bite us in the ass. In the meantime, I'll see what I can learn from the new CPU we acquired from that infiltrator. This could be the breakthrough that we've all been waiting for. I need to concentrate, so please don't disturb me.
Jacob, do you have a minute? Of course. I've heard that you're going to Hollywood Hills. Well, with Baron yelling like that, the whole shelter heard. He wanted me to tell you if I needed anything, so could you start behind the Annihilation line, but then again, he was always full of stupid ideas. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I didn't see you there. Where are you going? I'm going out scavenging. Don't worry. I'm past thinking about running away. Knowing how much you'd miss me made me not want to leave. Where's Patrick? He's getting ready. I'm taking him with me. I figure it's time for him to see what's out there. Is everything okay? You seem far away. I've been thinking about the day we met. <clears throat> I never told you how we really ended up there. You can tell me anything. I know I can. That day, loud hammering woke me up. When I came downstairs, I saw my father nailing the window shut. Through the crack, I saw them coming. Hundreds of metal heads and their red eyes. Even though they're just empty shell. What did you do? I made Patrick stay upstairs and went back to talk to my father. We argued for a minute or two, and I tried to pull him away from the window. He pushed me away. I tried it again, but he shoved me. And this time I fell. I didn't recognize him as he was reaching for a shotgun. He said, I shouldn't worry about the machines. They wouldn't hurt us. I don't even remember how. I closed my eyes and went someplace else. Didn't even hear the shot. I didn't hear Patrick's steps either. Saw you? He did. He was staring at me like I was a stranger. He didn't scream or cry, he just <clears throat> stared. I threw the gun away, grabbed Patrick, and tried not to notice. As we ran, I could hear them coming, so we found somewhere to. I wanted to tell someone about all this, but I was afraid to. I'm glad you did. I am too. 
We talk a lot about how heartless the machines are. And I started to think that maybe I was too. I probably would have convinced myself of that if it wasn't for you keeping me sane. Thank you for everything. I never thought I would find a friend in times like these. So much noise, I need absolute silence, so please stop that. Is it, is it, is it true? I'm a human now? Oh, what's with the dogs? Yes. Uh. They've been like that ever since they brought that thing in. You're alive! No time for that. Do whatever it takes to get everyone out of that shelter. Do you understand? They're not... St but what does he mean? Get everyone out of the shelter? Dr. Mac, is that you? The Resistance needs your help. Mac! It would be a shame to lose that camera. Now, why would you do that? Because we don't have time for this. Come out here. Skynet has developed a new Terminator model. 
the infiltrator. You've seen one already? We've captured one, and we need your help. Are you there? You've seen them. You know how incredibly lifelike they are, so you should understand my concerns. Head up that hill. If you want me to help you, you have to take a test for me. Test? Yes, to determine whether you're a Terminator or not. And be careful, I'm watching you. Oh, they're actually trying to fight you? Very clever way to make me think that you're not one of them. Unfortunately for you, I'm not that easily. We don't have time for any of this. Just tell me where you are. I am not a robot. Living tissue would make you a cybernetic organism, not a robot. Words have meaning. Conversations between human beings would be a lot easier if we all just trusted each other and under- This mansion is filled with Terminators. They've been trying to find me for a while now, all eight of them. Well, I guess with you in there, that makes it nine.
But there's no water in that pool. I'd have you jump in and see if you float. Wait, that's a different... Uh... <laughs> 